welcome back to Catholic Home Life. My name is Lindsay and today I wanted to talk to you about baptism and different traditions that you could do in your family surrounding the anniversary of your baptism and your children's baptisms. So let's get to it. One of the first things to do that will help you remember to celebrate your baptismal anniversary is to put it on your calendar. I like to use Google Calendar and it's synced up with my husband so that we can see all the things that we're doing. But we also put important dates on there like birthdays, but also our baptism days so that we know that it's coming up and we're prepared to celebrate it. I'm not sure where I came across this prayer, but I found this online and I just formatted it and printed it off and I fold this up and keep it with a kit that I use for celebrating my children's baptisms. And I'll leave a link down below to this document so that you can print it out for your own family. Basically what the prayer service is, it's a family prayer service and there's a leader who reads the prayer and then someone reads from scripture and there's a few different places in scripture where it talks about baptism so you select which reading you want to do and then as part of the prayer you read from the scripture and then there's a concluding prayer and then at the end everyone uses holy water to make the sign of the cross on the person's forehead and also at the beginning of this prayer we have the child light their baptismal candle in remembrance of their baptism and of receiving the light of Christ. After the baptism anniversary prayer, then we all enjoy a yummy dessert together. And of course the kids love that. During the baptism, they receive a baptismal candle and it, you get to take it home with you and we keep it in the box that it came in. And on the box you can write um, the name, the date, where it was, who the priest was, who the godparents were. So you can keep all the information on the candle box. And I like to keep all of our candles together so I don't lose them. So I've been collecting them, got a stash of baptismal candles. And whenever we're celebrating someone's baptism, I bring their candle out. I found this candle holder at the Dollar Tree. So I snagged this up and it works perfectly to put our candles in. And as the kids are getting older, they really like to light their own candle. So that's kind of part of it is that they light the candle before we say the prayer and then they blow it out at the end. Something else that helps with our prayer service is I have this um, tabletop, so it just sits on the table, tabletop holy water font, and this is St. Michael, and we have holy water, so we just put a little holy water in, and we use that during the prayer service to bless the person whose baptismal anniversary it is. And my brother got this for me. I'm not sure where he got it from, but it's really beautiful. I'll have a few linked down below that are similar where it has a flat bottom and it can sit on a table. Another thing that I do is I have this frame that has a cross on it and I use the same frame for all of our children and I just swap out the picture every time we are celebrating a different person's baptismal anniversary. So I keep an envelope with pictures of all the baptisms and I keep this together so that I don't lose it and then I just swap the pictures out so that that child has their baptism picture in it for their celebration. Something that I've learned over the years is when you have your child baptized you can get one of these little holy water bottles um, and dunk it into the baptismal font and then you have water from their baptism that you can use to bless them with on their anniversary. And I just think that that's really special when we have that honor of being godparents for another child or if we're attending a friend's baptism. I like to bring these and grab some water from their baptismal font so that they have that water as a special remembrance of their baptism. If you keep everything together, I keep it all up in a chest in our bedroom. And if you keep it all together and you realize like, oh, today's so-and-so's baptism, you can grab it all really quickly and set it up. It isn't a lot of work to set it up once you have all of these things together and you keep them in one location. If you have the privilege of being a godparent, 
One gift idea that I have for you to give to your godchild is a box with a kit for them to celebrate their anniversary. So you would include the, a holy water font that can sit on the table, their holy water from their baptism in a little bottle, and um, the paper printed out with a family prayer service. And you would sneak in their baptismal candle after the baptism happens. Oh, and a picture frame that they can use to put a picture of their baptism in. So that way they have all the things that they need and their parents have all the things that they need to celebrate their baptism every year. I also wanted to share with you, this is the baptismal gown that all of my children were baptized in. And I think it's really beautiful. I like the traditional style, so that's what we went for. But let's see if I can find it here. Um, since all of our kids were baptized in the same gown, I had my mother-in-law embroider their names on the hem of the gown, and it's in white embroidery thread, so you can't notice it when you're far away. But that way, it's like a, an heirloom for our family. Our kids will have this gown that I hope they'll appreciate it and that maybe my grandchildren someday maybe will be baptized in, in the same gown. I don't know where I got this idea from, but I thought it was really neat and a way to just create a tradition in our family. My hope with all of this for my children is that when they grow up, they will know the day they were baptized and maybe they won't celebrate it like we're celebrating it now as their children. They might not celebrate it the same way when they're adults, but I'm hoping that we're creating memories that they will treasure and they'll just know that this is a really important day in their life, that they received the sacrament of baptism. I recruited my kids to help me with this video and we did a little reenactment of our family baptism prayer that we do. And so I wanted to show that to you. But of course, I only had two of my kids helping me today. But normally when we celebrate a baptism anniversary, it's our whole family. So just keep that in mind. Normally my husband's there and we're all there together. And when we do the blessing at the end with the holy water, we usually go from youngest to oldest. So the youngest person blesses the baptized person and then we go all the way to the oldest person, which is me, I'm the oldest. And I tell the kids to be serious during this time because it's kind of easy for kids to want to goof off, especially when you're blessing your siblings with holy water. So I tell them that they don't get to have dessert unless they do a prayerful job at blessing their siblings and take it seriously. baptism we have been filled with the light of Christ may we walk always as children of the light and keep the flame of faith alive in our hearts may we live each day knowing our true identity as beloved children of God and when the Lord comes may we go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom to live with him forever and ever amen now everyone makes the sign of the cross holy water Bless you, Gianna. Okay, now blow out your candle. <gasps> Yay! I hope these ideas were helpful to you and that you will celebrate your baptism and your children's baptism anniversaries. Of course, it does not have to be how we do it. I just wanted to show you an example of the way that our family celebrates our baptism days. Do you have any other ideas of how you can make your baptismal anniversary a special day? Please leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to get more ideas and I'd love to hear what traditions you have in your family. 
I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.